Hello there. So today we are going to see valid mounting array. So the given input is an integer array. We have to return whether the array is valid mountain array or not. That is a boolean value true or false. The conditions given are the array length should be greater than or equal to 3. And there exists some point i where the values before i should be less than i and the values after i should be greater than i. That too, that is strictly increasing before i and strictly decreasing after i. So let's get into our solution. Here is our input array. To understand the problem statement, let's see this example. So here, if you see, our i stays here. That is, the value at i is 5. And if you observe the values before 5, they are strictly in increasing order from here. So 0, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. After 5, if you see, the values are decreasing. That is 2, 1, 0. So this looks like a mountain array. It is a valid mountain array. If you see the same example with bit modified value, here instead of 3, I have updated the value with 2. In this case, the graph doesn't go straight, strictly increasing. It just go to 2 and then stay in the same level and then go up. So after 5, it is decreasing. So this is not a valid mountain array. So we are going to find whether a given array is valid mountain array or not. So if you observe that, it is very pretty straightforward algorithm. You can first think of as a two-pointer method because we have to consider the values from right towards middle and values from left also towards middle. I'm gonna have two pointers. My left pointer is going to point at the leftmost element of the array and my right pointer is going to point at the end of the array. That is the size of array minus 1. So now as we see a number increasing towards the middle we are going to move our pointers because somewhere our uh, i the place i is going to be at the middle. The basic category is array length should be greater than 3. Why? Because if it is a greater number in the middle there must be a lesser number here and there must be a lesser number this side. Then only it can form a mountain array. This is the basic condition. So the array should be greater than or equal to 3. So in that case, our ith place must be somewhere in the middle. It can't be in the left side or it can't be in the right side. So towards middle, we are going to iterate our pointers left and right. So now if the value increase, it is going to iterate again. So my left moves here. So now again it is increasing so my left moves one more time and till 5 our left moves and check whether 5 is less than 2 or not. No it is not true so our loop terminates here and our left pointer is at the now at the middle of the array that is it reached our i. The same way if you iterate right till the numbers are increasing order it is going to reach 5 and point here. So now both our left and right pointers are at the same position. That is our i. So in this case we are going to check if our left pointer is equal to equal to our right pointer then it is a valid mountain array. Why? Because if there is a change in the same array, if I am having a change here like the value is 2, my life, right, left pointer will move till here that is 3 and stops moving because the number next to 3 is less than 3. So our left pointer will be here. Our right pointer alone reaches the middle. In that case, they both will not be equal. They will come and meet at the middle position if and only if the right and left arrays are in sorted order. So that forms the valid mountain. There are a few special cases. That is, if our array is in ascending order, that is, from 1 to 8, our left pointer moves completely and our right pointer stays in the same place because we initiate our right to end of the array and we iterate our left from starting of the array till it gets a lesser number. So in this series, in this array, we are having numbers from 1 to 8 in ascending order. We don't find any number lesser than the current value. So our left pointer will be at the end. In this case also, 
our solution will satisfy left is equal to equal to r but this is not a valid mountain array the next case is in descending order here as well our left stays here and right starts here and it moves all the way towards the starting of the array and plays the right pointer here at the initial position in this case as well it satisfies this condition l is equal to equal to r so to overcome these condition we are also checking l is equal to r and left is not is equal to 0 that is the left pointer did not move at all and the right is not is equal to size of the array or array size because if we are going to initiate right at this point and if it is not moved and still in the same position our condition fails so if our right not is equal to length and left is not is equal to 0 and right pointer meets the left pointer then it is a valid mountain array now let's implement this in code so as i have explained the problem statement let's see our solution so as i said i'm declaring a variable left and a pointer right at the length of the array and we are first checking whether the length of the array is less than 3 in that case it is not a valid mountain array so we are returning false then we are checking if left is less than right and array of at pointer left the value at left pointer is less than the uh, value at left pointer plus 1 in that case alone iterate left the same way we are checking whether right doesn't exceed before the array and then array of right is less than array of right minus 1 in that case alone right decrement right and finally we are checking if right is not equal to 0 and left is not is equal to array dot length and left is equal to equal to right then return true if not false it is a very straightforward simple algorithm you can find this code in my description and thanks for listening thank you